name is Sylvia Hedges. I'm a cocktail waitress at Showboat Atlantic City. I've been there 20 years. I have lived the American dream up until 9-11. When 9-11 happened, everything around me just crashed. I went to renew my driver's license and was told that I was no longer an American citizen, that I was an illegal alien and I was going to be deported. Deport, deported after being in the country for 42 years. My parents came over here from Hungary. My father's Hungarian, my mother's French. They brought me and my sister with them. I was two years old, she was maybe six months. My, both my parents became citizens. We became derivative citizens, at least that's what they told us. For the next 40 years I lived in this country, I worked, I've had children, put them through school, had a job, voted for seven presidents, and pay taxes. I go to renew my driver's license two years ago and suddenly I'm no longer a citizen. I'm now an alien and uh, I had to go through the whole immigration mess to go apply to um, and I'm not even a citizen now. I'm a registered, what is it, a legal alien. After 40 years in this country I'm an, a legal alien. So the rules A legal changed. resident. They've changed. It's, it's outrageous what they've done. They, uh, people have slipped through the cracks over the years, and they can't punish them for something that happened at 9-11. Homeland Security is one thing, but to start pro persecuting people that have been here their entire lives. I've been here since I was two. I'm 42. That's 40 years in this country, and for them to tell me I'm not a citizen, that's a smack in the face. Mm -hmm. After paying taxes and voting for presidents, uh, and you know, and they didn't want to hear about it. They said I had to go through the channels as if I was an illegal. And my question is, where are they going to deport me to? They're going to deport me to Hungary. I don't speak Hungarian. Are they going to deport me to France? I don't speak French. What are they going to do with me? The government needs to get their shit together. There's just too many chiefs and not enough braves. There's too many people with their hands in the cookie pot. One person has got to sit down and decide what is best for every, all immigrants. You can't pick and choose. There is not a person in this country, unless you're an American Indian, that didn't come from somewhere. Okay, so unless your name is Geronimo, you came from someplace, every person in this country.